Hello, I'm Mark Fowler, lead pastor at First United Methodist Church in Madison, Wisconsin. I welcome you today because we will share uh, the daily office. Prayer throughout the traditions of Judaism, Christianity, Islam, meditation throughout many of the Eastern religions, prayer, meditation, and reflection are central to the religious experience. Religio, or regular, basically means there are regular prayers, and within monasteries even to today, there are uh, seven canonical hours. In the Protestant movement, we reduced the number seven uh, to two, because they were not reserved simply for monastics, but for all people, the morning, the evening, office. Some experience it at noontime, but regular prayer is an invitation, especially in this time of pandemic, to stop and to set aside a period for reflection, prayer, and for God and each other. So will you join me in today's daily office? This is from the 51st Psalm. Open my lips, O God, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory be to you, O God, our parent, our Jesus, and the spirit of holiness. And it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the United Methodist hymnal, there are affirmations of faith. Many of them are the traditional affirmations. This one is an affirmation that comes from Paul's letter to the Romans. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? No, in all things we are more than conquerors through the one who loved us. We are sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The reading for today from the Psalms is about deliverance. It is a Psalm of David. And although in David's Psalm is a deliverance from enemies, I read it as simply deliverance from the pandemic in which we find ourselves. It leads me to the urgency of this psalm for those who are on the front lines, those who are ministering with the sick and the dying. We give thanks to God for their courage and their bravery, even without sufficient supplies, to be present with those of us who fall to this coronavirus for families who cannot reach their loved ones, for entire groups of people 
who protected themselves and yet find themselves afflicted with the virus. For all of these, instead of the enemy being an external threat of another people, we realize that our prayer is for deliverance from this very difficult time in which the world, as a singular people, find themselves. The 143rd Psalm of David. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications in your faithfulness. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued us, crushing our life to the ground, making us sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore my spirit faints within me, my heart within me is appalled. But I remember the days of old. I think, think about all your deeds. I meditate on the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you in prayer. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, O God. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your steadfast love in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Teach me the way I should go, for to you I lift my soul. So I was thinking about being with you for a few minutes today. I was thinking about several phone calls that I have received. Many of us are anxious about the future with the recent extension of the perceived deadline to the end of April and some until the end of May and perhaps even into June. I must confess that in some ways I realize that time simply does not have much meaning anymore. I'm not sure whether we're at the beginning, the middle, or the end of this way of life that, like the psalmist, I plead would soon be over. Yet we need to remain safe and care in love for one another, even as we are practicing physical distancing and finding ways to be spiritually connected. What I have said to those who have shared this anxiety with me is, out of the depths of my own spirit, a discipline which is not always easy, and that is the experience of Sabbath. Sabbath usually was one day in seven, but I've begun to realize it needs to be two times per day for me. Perhaps it is the pattern of morning and evening prayer. When Susan and I got married one to another that wonderful day, we realized that both of us were predisposed to work long and hard hours and that it would consume us morning, noon, and night. And for that, uh, by and large, we were praised by those institutions for which we worked and by the society that surrounded us. But it drained us far too much, and the anxiety about tomorrow would plague our sleeplessness as well as our waking. And so we pledged to one another in our marital vows that we would be Sabbath, for one another, that we would find ways in our relationship to shut the door on the world as Sabbath requires, and dedicate ourselves to God. And the more that I have searched God, I realize that God does not require dedication that goes to God with nothing in return that basically our scriptures and our way of life realize that God is spending a great deal of effort and energy to pour grace upon grace upon us. So as we dedicate ourselves to God, as we find the love of God in our lives, we find that love within the circle of friends, family, spouse. And with that singular attention to close the door, if only for moments in the morning and moments in the evening, 
and invite the world and its troubles to go away. Dedicate ourselves to God and to one another. That is Sabbath. For those who are afflicted with this virus, the invitation is the same. As much as it is possible. Between those struggled breaths and the worry about tomorrow because the fever is too high. For those who are on the front lines worried about droplets and their ramifications. Sabbath, if only for a moment, to focus on the moment, the blessing of God and the life that we have, Sabbath. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and bless you into this day. In Jesus' name, amen.